Hello friends in this video I will show you how to make PHP login script by using object oriented programming concept. Friends this is my another video on PHP object oriented programming. In previous video I have show you insert, update, select and delete records from my SQL table by using PHP object oriented programming. Friends this is my simple table with name users with three column id, username and password. I have already insert one data like username is equal to admin and password is equal to admin. Friends this is my simple page with name can login.php. In this page I have create one simple HTML form with method post. In this form I have one input text with name username and I have one input password field with name password. I have also one input type submit with name login and value is equal to login. Friends both username and password fields is required so I have to make one function for required both fields. So I have make one function with name required validation with one parameter field. Field parameter is associative array. In this array key is equal to field and value is HTML field name. Friends in this database class I have already make database connection. In this function first I have defined one variable count is equal to zero. After this I have write for each loop with field function parameter as key arrow value. With the help of this for each loop we can check all HTML field data. In for each loop code I have write if statement with condition. In condition I have use empty function with parameter dollar value. Here value is HTML field. If HTML field value is empty then I have write count plus plus. This will increase count value, for display error, I have define error one new variable error for storing all error of this class. For storing error in error variable I have write reference error variable with concatenation assignment operator. With help of this operator we can store more than one error in this error variable. Now friends I have check if count value is equal to zero then it will return true otherwise it will produce error. Now friends I have moved to implement this code on HTML page for this first I have to include database class into our can login.php page. After this I want to start session on this page for this I have write session start function. Now friends I want to create one object of database class for this I have write data is equal to new databases which is class name. With the help of this object we can access database class function. After this I have defined one variable message with blank value. In this variable I will store message into this variable. Now friends I want to check as user is clicked on login button or not for this I have write if statement with condition. In condition I have use set function to set login button. After this I have defined one field variable with associative array. In this array there is key and value. In key is username and password and in value I have write input field value of username and password. Now friends I want to call required validation function for this I have write if statement with condition. In condition I have write data object with required validation function with parameter fields which I have defined above. If both input fields are blank then I have want to execute else statement, 
In else statement I have write messages equal to data object with error variable. In this variable I have store error message. Now friends I want to display message variable error. For this I have write of statement with condition. In condition I have use set function to set message variable value. If message variable has some string then it will print on web page for this I have write echo statement to display message variable value. Now friends I want to check user enter write data like username and password for this I have make one more function can log in with two parameter like table name and where condition. In table name I will define my SQL table name and in where condition which is associative array. In this array we can get username and password value. Friends this code will convert associative array value to string, and this will create text for where condition string like this. Now friends a write query variable is equal to select star from table name which is get from function parameter. After this I have write where with condition variable. This condition variable I have generate or condition text like username is equal to and password is equal to. So friends our query is ready. Now I want to execute this query for this I have write result variable is equal to miscly query function with two parameter one is database connection string and second is query. Now friends query is executed and result is in store int result variable. Now I want to get number of row from result. For this I have used misclean num rows function with parameter my SQL query result. If number of rows greater than zero that means user enter write information and return true and if number of rows not greater than zero that means user enter wrong data so I have store wrong data error into error variable. Now friends I have called this function to can log in dot php page. For this I have write of statement with condition. In condition data object with can log in function with two parameter. One is table name like users and where condition parameter which I have store into field variable. If suppose can log in function return true. That means user enter write information and he can log in into our system. If function return true then I have create one session variable with name username is equal to input text username value and page must be redirect to login success.php page. For this I have use header function with location login success.php. But if suppose function not return true then error store into message variable and this message will display on web page. Now friends on login success.php page. On this page first I have start session on this page by using session start function and I have print session variable like username. This text will display after user log into system. Now friends I have checked this code output in browser.
friends my code on PHP login script by using PHP object oriented programming is working. So friends thank you for watching this video. If you have any query regarding this video you can comment on this video I will reply on your comment. Friends you want to get more update of my video, so, friends you can subscribe my YouTube channel. Friends you can also like my Facebook page also or you can also follow Webs Listen on Twitter.